I'm going to change costumes here and we're going to make some custom costumes. Now I've already deleted the original cat. Uh, I called this project just new costume. I'm not going to submit this assignment. It's just going to be to have some fun. When it comes to which actual sprite to pick, you want one with less detail. And any of the ones that are actual uh, photos of real people are going to be a little harder to make match up just because the colors uh, change a lot. And I'm going to pick something a little more simple. I'm going to go with just the beetle. It only, I think, has one costume. Now, we're already selected on the beetle, and I'm going to go to costumes. Now, there's only one. We want to make multiple costumes. So you could choose uh, create a costume, but I'm going to duplicate. So I just right-clicked and duplicate. And you can duplicate it several times if you want. Now I'm going to go ahead and make some modifications to the legs. You might be able to do the eyes. I'm doing control with a scroll here. You can modify the eyes, but that gets a little bit tedious. I'm not sure that's going to really be appreciated. So what I'm going to do is just move some of the legs around. And the way to do that, there's lots of ways to do it. You could change colors, of course, but all I want to do is show movement. I'm looking for the rotation tool, which is, it's a little hard to see. It's this little, and it's hard to click on it because it's trying to make me click on the body. So you can always move it away, rotate, and then move it back. And control Z will undo a couple times. So all I want to do is just rotate each leg a little bit. So I'll rotate that one forward, and I do need to move it up. Take this one, rotate it forward, Move it up. This one, rotate forward. Now it's about to collide with the antenna. And these, I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to rotate these backwards. I did not study how a beetle moves before I did this. That's useful to do a little research on how uh, creatures actually move in nature if you want it to be realistic. So I don't think it's going to be realistic at all. But I have made a second sprite here or a second costume. And I'm gonna make a third costume where I'm gonna rotate things the opposite way. And you can either duplicate the second costume or you can go back to the first costume and duplicate that. I'm gonna go and duplicate the first costume. Oops. Uh, you can give these custom names. Um, so I'll call this Beetle, well, it was already called Beetle. Uh, Beetle, I'll call it maybe Top for Top, actually, it's the beetle's left legs. It's only top because it's facing to the right. So th from the beetle's perspective, the left legs are the ones that I moved here. This I'll call beetle right. I forgot what I was going to do. Rotate. Oh, so we're going to rotate the bottom ones forward, the top ones back. All right, I'm going to make this perfect. I'm not going to make this perfect because I want to go quickly because you're probably getting bored. So those are forward. These ones are back. All right, this is a really bad animation, but you can at least see that it moves a little bit. Um, you can make it much better. You can move the antennas, of course. You can change colors. Uh, you can go and edit the, let's see, reshape. And now you can actually edit. I'm doing control scroll to zoom in, but if you wanted to, you can actually change the shape of these things as well. So if you don't like the way the legs look, you can just change their shape. Oops, you can do something similar to the eyes, antenna, whatever you want to do. Maybe you want to bend that over. You'll notice there's layers on here, so it's not as simple as it looks. I don't want to get too far into layers, uh, but there are groups and layers, and you can find other tutorials on how to do that. But this is how to make multiple costumes right here. And of course, you can duplicate as many as you want and make as many of these costumes as you'd like to make. You can draw on top. Obviously, this is ugly. Uh, but I'm just showing you that you can make all these changes and it will just save automatically. You go back to your code. Now you have access to five costumes of the beetle. Man, the scribbles are ugly. Don't do that. And this is how you can edit costumes. And of course you bring in another one and you can do the exact same thing. Go to costumes and make duplicate any of these you want and make changes.